<laughs> holograms. Well, according to many statistics and what my grandma said in 1786, you can't have a sci-fi game without holograms. So I have no clue on when my game turned into a sci-fi game uh, with Crocs, but you know, it is what it is and now we have to deal with it. Hi everyone, it's me here and welcome to another episode of Road to Steam. Let's start from the beginning. If you're making a game, sooner or later you will realize that your game is either too easy or too hard. Well, in my case, it's the first one. In fact, if you look at the crafting system, ignore the UI, I'm aware that it sucks, you can easily craft everything from everywhere, which is kind of too overpowered. We need to nerf it. So what an opportunity to introduce blueprints. Wow, very original. Literally no one have done this before. So we're gonna have three different blueprint categories and uh, let's start from the crafting one. So I'm gonna start from modeling some blueprints. I decided not to go for the classic blue paper because I do exclusive things in here, but to go for some kind of a card that you can use to unlock new blueprints, it's gonna be white. So yeah, now we only need to insert it somewhere. Okay, now let's take care of the somewhere. Sadly, I'm not smart enough to come up with an idea that it's not a crafting station thing that looks like a big uncomfortable table with a monitor because everything in this game got a monitor. And last but not least, we need the hole where to put our thing. Okay, I don't know what you're thinking about, but I am talking about blueprints. And here we go, some code recycling and we can now place it. <clears throat> Second category is for the plant breeding. It's like animal breeding, but with plants. Wait, is plant breeding like the, the proper name for it? Oh, it is, nice. We can call it the, the plant breeder then. Well, now I can start modeling a new blueprint card uh, as a serious game developer would do, or I can just grab this guy, move it toward this other guy, and voila, a brand new blueprint card, <laughs> newish. That was a lot of effort. All right, time for the plant breeder boy. I don't know why, but when I think about sci-fi and breeding, I can only see these boys. We are gonna have three of them, connected by some pipes, because pipes are good, two small side ones for the starting plants that you want to mix together, and the bigger one in the middle will be for the resulting plant. Same as before, we can now place it. Oh, this is coming along better than I expected. Uh, by the way, you can only place the right blueprint, otherwise it's not gonna work. Let me show it to you. So if I take the wrong one, which is clearly for crafting, and I put it into the plant breeder one... You see? It gets rejected, so don't do it. Okay, now, before moving on to the third category, let's talk about holograms. I mean, it's it's a title of the video, I guess I have to talk about it. I don't know if you noticed, but both of these things have this weird structure on them. Well, this is the base for the hologram. It's going to be something like this, it's gonna start from uh, here and go along with a sort of a, a pyramid, I don't know, well, we'll see. So with a gentle sharing of Daniel's YouTube video, I came up with uh, this shader graph. Let's create a material and use it right away on Gerald. Okay, uh, kind of good, I like it, but I don't like Gerald being a hologram. I feel like I can't make him suffer this way. So this is how it looks on a crafting station. Uh, I added a little bouncing effects, very basic. The lighting, which is a simple transparent texture. So this hologram will pop up whenever you unlock a new blueprint, showing a preview of the unlocked item. I added holograms so that the reward feedback from the game is not just a dull text saying what you unlocked. So just as an example, this is how Subnautica handles it. Okay, cool, we can now move on to the third blueprint category, and this is about smelting minerals. If you have been following my journey, you might remember that I trashed the old smelter blender file, because it was trash, with a monitor, so now it's time to remodel it. My blender skills slightly improved since then, and I managed to have this model. The bottom part is the same, because I want to stick to a style, and uh, okay, I can't even believe it myself. It's because I'm lazy, okay? Don't judge me. And uh, you see this cylinder, this black cylinder in here. This is where the magic happens. It will start melting the minerals and it will be kind of glowing because it's hot. And th so this is also the reason behind the glass. Yeah, I do care about the players. We can also have different colors for different recipes so that you can figure out easier what you're smelting and make the glowing effect gradual. Speaking of blueprints, we can repeat the magic trick and place it, so let's test all three of them. I am going to add a loading screen with delay, some UI and sound effects, you know, making the game feedback reward as enjoyable as possible. 
But here we are doing things for the trailer and the Steam page, so we, we can do that later. Okay, if you made it this far in the video, you deserve to see the bonus item. It's a gold blueprint. I did two different versions, let me know in the comments which one you like the most, or you can jump into my Discord server, actually our Discord server, we are an amazing community, and tell me which one you like the most. I'm still not sure how it can be used, but I think it can only unlock like rare recipes and used on all these three guys. If you have any ideas, comment down below or join the Discord server to chat, and don't forget to subscribe, leave a like or a dislike as you want, and I'll see you guys in the next video.